This is The Fifth Estate, a conversation between young African scholars from the Fort Hall School of Government and Professor Mutahi Nguni. Last Sunday, we submitted that the election will be in 2026. But if it happens in 2022, Uhuru Kenyatta will stay in office until mid-2023. We will elaborate on this next week. But this Sunday, we discern the makings of an accidental president in the 2022 election. And we call the fifth president of Kenya an accidental president because we will not see him coming. He will happen to us like a thief in the night. In making this deduction, we use probability theory and the theory of randomness to torture numbers and torment history. And we do so because if you formulate a problem properly using history, mathematics will give you the answer automatically. In fact, math is unreasonably effective if you get your history right. According to history and math, the fifth president of Kenya will be an accidental president. He will be a product of randomness, uncertainty, and a twist in history. And the midwife of this accident will be the inevitable runoff in the 2022 election. Consider the logic with us. In philosophy, logic is the science of constructing an argument. Logic is also called the science of argumentation, and it has two components to it, evidence and a conclusion. If the evidence in an argument is accurate, the resultant conclusion will be accurate. At the Fort Hall School of Government, we have studied the evidence of election patterns from 1992, a total of 30 years. And using probability theory, we have been led to the conclusion that 2022 will produce an accidental president. If this president is a Kikuyu or a Kalenjin, he will not be accidental. He will be accidental if he is not a Kikuyu or a Kalenjin. It is that simple. But he will also be accidental because of the way he will come about. He will defy history, defy rules of commonplace politics, and defy political gravity. He will be a product of electoral rottery, an invention of political randomness, a device of the spontaneous order. So, the accidental president will be created by a presidential runoff. And that is why a runoff is inevitable in the 2022 election. Stay with us on this argument. If your history is right, math will tell you who will be the accidental president of Kenya in 2022. And if historical evidence suggests that we vote ethnically, math will also tell you that the accidental president will be a Gemma project. Yes, the president will be made by the 5.7 million Gemma votes through an election rotary. He will be a product of randomness and chance. And that is why the presidential candidates in 2022 should not invest in coalitions. They must invest in chance. If Kalonzo Musioka had not run for president in 2007 and chanced it, he would not have become the accidental vice president to Mzekipaki. It was political rotary that gave him this position. The same rotary gives all the candidates a fair chance to become president in 2022. And this rotary is the presidential runoff. All the candidates must run in the first round of elections and fail. Then the best two candidates must face off in a runoff. 
this rotary will separate the political nuclear waste like Martha Karua from the good material and the result will be an accidental president who will not be brutal. It is that simple. The accidental president will not come from the Kikuyus or the Kalenjins. And this is because when the two communities come together, they do not produce a fair game of chance. Instead, they manufacture ethnic majoritarianism, political divisionism, and leave the rest of the country with a potato swelling in their throats. And that is what the country has felt for 60 years. The good news though is this. August 9th, 2022 is Liberation Day for the dominated 40 tribes of Kenya. But for this Liberation Day to materialize, the leaders of these tribes must play the game of chance. They must produce a president through the national election rotary. Raila, Mudavadi, Kalonzo, and Matiangi must all run in 2022. And if they do, the ethnic results will look like this. Mudavadi will get 2.6 million Mulembe votes. Raila Odinga will get 2.2 million Luo votes. And Kalonzo Musioka will get 2.1 million votes. And if Dr. Fred Matiangi decides to run, he will garner 1 million Kisi votes. But the liberation game changer in this election is the 5.7 million Gamma votes. Whoever gets this vote will become the accidental president in 2022. If the 9th of August is Liberation Day for the 40 tribes of Kenya, and the liberation game changer is Gamma, then we must serve notice to the August 9th liberation movement. One, if Gamma will determine the liberation of the 40 tribes through an accidental president, then these tribes must be notified that Gamma has its owners and the custodian of its 5.7 million votes is none other than one Uhuru Kenyatta. Make no mistake. Two, if the August 9th liberation will happen through an election rotary, it is notified to the public that Gamma will not participate in the rotary. But using its 5.7 million votes, Gamma will sponsor a liberation candidate for the election rotary. Three, it is notified to the August 9th liberation movement that the rotary candidate that Gamma will sponsor will have a Gamma running mate. This candidate could have the head of a coconut, but he will be Gamma. And if Gamma will be out of power for the next 30 years, they are not stupid. If Jomo chose Moi and Moi fixed Kikuyus, Uhuru knows better than that. The rotary candidate for Gamma will be from Nyanza. End of discussion. There are two candidates from Nyanza in the 2022 election rotary. There is the consummate Babaman and the untested Fred Matiangi. One of them will be in the runoff and the choice will be made by Uhuru Kenyatta. There are two scenarios here. Uhuru can convince Babaman to let go and support Matiangi. After all, the Baba man is older than the United Nations, he has two holes in his head from surgery, and he has run for president five times with zero success. And then, Vetangula told us that Baba man fires blanks. Therefore, if Baba is firing blanks, maybe Raila should leave the job of romancing the country to a young bull from Nyanza. And maybe Matiangi is the young bull. If the Gamma candidate in 2022 is Fred Matiangi, he will become president. His 1 million votes plus 5.7 million votes from Gamma 
will make him president. And if Raila disagrees and runs for president, he will be disqualified shamefully in a runoff. But because Uhuru is a good man, Raila will be asked to choose a prime minister. Therefore, the Matiangi accidental presidency will have a Kikuyu deputy president with the head of a coconut and a Raila appointed prime minister. But where does this leave William Ruto? Can Matiangi replace Ruto? And the answer is absolutely no. Ruto replaced himself with Matiangi. Ruto told us that he was the architect of the handshake. That Raila called him before he called Uhuru, begging for the handshake. And it was a lie. If this was a lie, Ruto is beginning to sound like a smooth criminal. And this is the Gemma test on him. Because Gemma can smell a criminal from afar, Ruto's actions are beginning to smell. If the August 9th liberation movement will be powered by the 5.7 million Gemma votes, can the 40 tribes of Kenya trust Ruto to liberate them? And can Gemma trust a smooth talker charged by ICC for killing Kikuyus to liberate them? That is the dilemma. The question in the minds of Kikuyus is simple. What is Ruto giving to them that Uhuru has not given them? Why is Ruto better than Uhuru in the eyes of Kikuyus? If Ruto was accused of killing Kikuyus by ICC in 2007, what will he give Kikuyus other than death in 2022? If the August 9th liberation movement happens with 41 versus 1, will he protect Kikuyus? Zero. And now, our final thought. Kikuyus are not stupid. They are asking themselves this question. What is Ruto giving to them that Uhuru has not given them? What is new about Ruto that is old about Uhuru? What will Kikuyus get from Ruto that they could not get from Uhuru? What is the Uhuru crime and what is the Ruto crime? These are the Gemma questions. And if Ruto was accused by the ICC of killing Kikuyus, what is the new thing he will give to them? Jesus taught us that a foolish man and a wise man act differently. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the wise man built his house upon the solid rock. And when the rains came, the house built upon the sand was swept away but the house built upon the rock stood as firm as a rock the Ruto house in Gemma is built upon the sand it will be swept away but the house of chance and the randomness is built upon a rock it will give us the accidental president in 2022 and this president will not be Kikuyu or Kalenjin <laughs> Take it a little bit.